So you have your new project called Glacier. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Let's fix that. Glacier Race. The first thing we're going to create is what's called a game loop. This game uses the game loop to keep all the action happening just as it should. It's as if the game loop bangs the drum and with each beat, the other sprites move one step. You're going to create a blank sprite to hold this code. So we're going to get rid of our happy cat by clicking on the garbage can. And we're going to go to create your sprite, the paintbrush. It's going to open up a blank sprite and we are going to name this sprite game loop. Okay. There is not going to be actually anything in the sprite itself. It is a blank sprite. So we are going to code it. In order to code it, we are going to build the code in the game loop and we're going to have to create a number of messages called setup, calculate, move, and game over that will be broadcasted out. We're going to start with our first event on when the flag is clicked as usual. We are going to then go to broadcast and wait and the first message we need to broadcast is called setup. So we're going to click where it says message one, click on new message, click on new message and type in setup. Okay. We are also going to need a calculate move and game over. So I'm just going to create them all now. So I'm going to go to new message again, type in calculate. I don't know what my computer is doing. Sorry. There we go. Calculate. Then I needed another new message of move. Now you can make these messages as you're going on, but since I know I need them, I'm just getting them all out of the way now. And then game over. So first one is broadcast, set up and wait. And we want this to keep going. So we need a repeat until something happens. So I'm going to go to the control group, grab a repeat until, and this has to do with a countdown. So the countdown clock. I need the operator of less than. Make sure you get less than, not greater than. So we're going to repeat until, and now I need a variable called countdown. So I'm going to make my variable. And now I'm going to grab it. And countdown, I'm not unchecking because I do want my countdown to appear on the game so the players know how much time is left. So if the countdown is less than one, we want it to broadcast, and that is under events. So we are going to broadcast and wait, calculate. And then we're going to broadcast and wait move. Okay, the broadcast messages, you'll see what they do later. Then at the end, underneath, not inside the repeat, we just want to straight up broadcast game over. Okay. The next algorithm you need to create on the blank game loop is going to need two new variables. So we're going to go to variable make a variable called road y and we're going to uncheck that one we don't need to see that one and then we're going to make the variable car speed and we're also going to uncheck that one we don't need to see it we only need to see countdown so the next event is when i receive setup so when it receives the message to set up, which is being broadcast here. You're going to be now going to the variables and setting three different variables up for the game that the game loop will follow. So the first one is road Y and we're setting that to zero. The second one is car speed and you're setting that to five. 
And the last one is countdown. And we're setting that to 20. And then we're going to reset the timer, which is under sensing, near the bottom. Reset that timer. The last bit of code we need for our game loop is going to start with event when I receive calculate, which all comes from when the flag is being clicked. So we're going to go to our variables now, and we're going to set the road speed. <clears throat> which we don't have that variable yet, so I'm going to make that variable road speed. And we do not want that variable showing, so we will uncheck that variable. So we're going to set the road speed to minus 5. We are going to then change road y. I the road speed and then we need an if then block and we also need an operator block less than make sure it is a less than so if saying if and I'm gonna go back to my variables if road y is less than minus 360 then we're going to change, so that's still in the variables category. We're going to change the road Y by 720. Now you're probably going, what is all this doing? So what this is doing is this is creating, storing the speed so you can move the scenery. So it looks like the road is moving. So this code is calculating the position of the road each time the game loop runs. You'll see how this works once we make the road sprites, which we are doing next.